Over a century ago, Oscar Wilde observed the gap between prices and value. And today, amidst our economic and ecological crises, the discrepancy couldn't be greater. It seems like every aspect of our lives is touched by the philosophy of prices and free markets. But isn't there a better way to value our world? Growing up, my parents had a convenience store. And my favorite thing there was the price gun. Especially when I got to make my own prices. And of course, I knew the exact value of my little brother. As a kid, that was a joke. But given our current crisis, when we see this as more valuable than this, when most people can't afford this, but they call this a value meal, where a tomato farmer gets paid less in a year than a Wall Street banker gets in an hour. It seems as if the joke is on us. So how do we get here? From the 1970s onward, our economy was hijacked by free market fundamentalists whose mantra was greed is good and regulation is bad. But it gets darker still. I encourage you all to go shopping. We were all along for the ride. We bought, ate and drove more and paid for it with debt, diabetes and pollution. We mortgaged our future and called it freedom. I found a flaw in the model that I perceived is the critical functioning structure that defines how the world works, so to speak. In other words, you found that your ideology was not right. It was that, not that, working. That is, it had a, that precisely. So, if all of us got it wrong about markets and greed, then what now? The opposite of consumption isn't thrift, it's generosity. The oldest civilizations and the latest neuroscience agree that we're not just selfish, greedy creatures, but that we're happiest when we govern ourselves and live in common. And the good news is that people all around the country and around the world are putting this ideology into practice. Like tomato pickers in Florida, who won the right to be treated like human beings instead of slaves where the new value meal is local, sustainable, and shared by everyone. These people don't fight markets with more markets. They realize that through real democracy, and not a price gun, we can all learn to value our world anew. The Value of Nothing, and even $14, published by Picador, and in bookstores January 2010. Thank mm -hmm. you.